say hello to Traveler-san. Through the creative use of game mechanics, and at times glitches, we're on a quest to see just how much of Genshin Impact can be completed using only the Traveler. And we sometimes break things. If you enjoyed the series, do make sure to like and subscribe. It helps Traveler-san out a lot. <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. What gave it away? But it's finally time to progress the story. Arca and quests tend to serve as a lock for major events in a given region. So if I want to partake in those and expand Traveler Sans Horizons beyond the main overworld map, they need to be cleared. Places like Ankonomia and the underground mines of the Chasm are also locked behind them. And believe me, if I could break into those places without progressing the story, I would. Because I've certainly tried. Fun fact about the chasm, this prompt for the secret entrance actually shows up even without having unlocked the underground mines, but selecting it does nothing. From my tests, it seems to not function until clearing the first part of the underground mines quest. To clarify, I do not mean breaking the 7 star seal, I mean obtaining the Luminstone Adjuvant and exploring a bit farther into the mine. This account has not obtained the Luminstone Adjuvant, and while I can exit from here, I cannot return to the depths of the mines. That said, the prompt being here may be significant. If there is a way to break in, this is probably it. Any avid glitch hunters watching, do tag me if you end up finding a way in through it. But I have really digressed. What was it again that Venti said in the beginning? <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. The Mondstadt Archon Quest. To make things more interesting, we're only going to use the well-earned power of C4 Electro. Let's just jump on into it. You know, it really is true what they say about reading a book twice, or watching a movie a second time. One really catches things that they didn't before. I like the fact that this isn't Lisa's voice, and she sounds like Jean. You're leaving. Drop by again sometime when you're free. Or if it is Lisa, she's got the whole split voice thing going on that Barbara had. Look just like that guy down there! Did he climb up from here? Obviously not. He used his skill to make an updraft and glide to the top. Or not. Venti sure is behind the times. I mean, we definitely learned in Inazuma that Rex Lapis already kicked the bucket, which is to say he stepped down from his role as Archon. Aha, but a tie into the Albedo and Durin story. This I appreciate and if I may interject, covered in two very in-depth videos. Anyways, I do hope the next installment shows up by the new year. Definitely my favorite storyline. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a proper event with this stealth mode. I mean, we had that sort of stealth event, but it didn't have crouching or throwable distractions. Although really, who actually went around sneaking in that event? When you could just battle and defeat those incredibly strong pooches. Blast them into the water, Klee. Victory. I'm also surprised by how many treasure chests are down here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six treasure chests. Fairly certain I only got one of these on my main account. Good thing there's no Primo gems in them. Now that the liar has been snatched away, it's on to the first domain. Pretty pumped about this. Got ourselves a neat mask. I'll never understand why this isn't available in outfits for the Traveler. And it's into the depths of this fiery dungeon. I'm ready for whatever obstacles are thrown my way. Want to do this strictly with Electro, but Geo's always there in case we need a little more help with breaking things. Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. Run from debt. Wait, that's it? Where are the puzzles? The stuff they expect you to use Trial D Luke for? Why is there nothing to break? Traveler Sign is sad. Well, there's still another domain, and it happens to be one of those awesome fairy tale like domains. Perhaps this will require climbing the giant vines to get around puzzles we don't have elements to solve, to ascend to the highest point out of bounds so high up that the domain isn't even visible anymore. Or none of that. Hmm, this Archon quest is proving to be a bit... simple. It's a shame given how awesome this particular domain is. If you've not gone exploring in here, you can revisit it through Eagle's Peak. It's recommended. 
With the teardrops gathered, the final challenge awaits in Storm Terror's lair. We are breezing through this. But then I guess these are like 80% cutscenes and dialogue. Speaking of, how have they not fixed Paimon's dialogue here? It's flipped for Aether and Lumine. It's like when he's ticked off, she'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger. Been like this since version 1.0. I've noticed quite a few of these mix-ups are still present, which is odd, because they seem to have gone back through the Mondstadt Archon quest to sync mouth movement to the character's dialogue. Anyways, we need to get past the storm barrier. So open the map and... Alrighty, we're in. Venti? Jean? Diluc? Come on, you slackers. Alright, alright, we'll open the barrier. For those curious, there isn't a way to skip steps of the quest by breaking into Storm Terror's lair early. The light actuators can't be interacted with, and no cutscene triggers are present. <laughs> this is not the end. I love those vines. I seriously hope a future Dendro character can create them, and uh, that they can damage other players, because that would be epic. This mission is nearly done and dusted. All that's left is to defeat Devalon. If you're wondering why my health is suddenly low and halved, it's because of the Berserker artifact set. Going into battle with the intention of defeating Devalon in one cycle. And I want to see if I can do it without boosts from food. Ah uh, yes, another of Genshin's many, many one-time features. They should really reuse this. It could easily be turned into a fun minigame. Maybe at the next Windbloom Festival? Anyways, see ya Devalin. Okay, so this is my main account, but I could have maybe done this with Traveler San were I allowed to use Venti. Okay, the fabric of reality is starting to tear. See? The sky is fake. The world is fake. This is what Traveler San is trying to tell people. Now we can fight Devalin on equal grounds. <laughs> the grandest bard is here. No, you're not. Traveler only. But first, let me be clear. Even after hundreds of years without use, Devalin's teeth and claws are still very dangerous. Now is our chance! Aim for the tainted blood clot on his neck! A bit too easy for my tastes. I suppose as Devalon is the first boss, it's to be expected. I'm really looking forward to future bosses. Child, Ajdaha, and especially the Raiden Shogun. Those battles should be a good challenge. On to attending Amber's dinner invitation. There's the blacksmith! And we will be squared away to watch Venti get his butt kicked by... Really? Hello, Kaya? Yep, pirate treasure, inherited eye patch, amazing story. There we go. Hello again, most handsome Kaya. Thank you. Have a nice day. There's the one buying. Hello, Amber. You cannot be serious. She's literally right there, sitting down. A cool animated bird story, but Traveler San has a cooler one he'd like to tell about a cooked bird on his plate. Don't tell Timmy. Alright, looks like we're in the clear. Half expected the game to tell me it couldn't progress because Sarah was too busy with the daily commission to cook our food. And finally, Senora. I guess I never noticed this, but Paimon gets wrecked during this cutscene. Let's slow it down. Honestly, it's really funny. Senora is another battle I'm really looking forward to, and the revenge will be sweet, probably. All in due time, I suppose. There's one last line in this quest I'd like to draw attention to. As of version 2.7, I don't believe they have done anything with this lore bombshell venti drops. 
This isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. As you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people allogenes. But I do hope they do something eventually. Seeing someone attain such power in the middle of the story, and using it to take out some major foe like a Harbinger, would be a pretty epic development. Feels like the closest we got to it was Kazuha deflecting the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. And with that, the Mondstadt Archon Quest turns its last page. A lot simpler than I remember. I had thought there were more puzzles, or elemental monuments at least somewhere in the storyline. It all left me feeling a little unsatisfied, and I was itching for a fight. So before we conclude today's episode, let's return to Inazuma to check another boss off the list. Traveler San's foe this time, the Magu Kenki. Thanks a bunch for tuning in. I'm really happy to see so many people enjoying this often absurd series, where we typically get sidetracked from the start. I do appreciate the support. Likes, subscribes, and shares help get this out to new people, so would be a pretty cool deal if you'd consider it. Next time, it's more Mondstadt, more domains. The ones presented in the Archon Quest were too lacking. Therefore, we'll be tackling the story quests started earlier. Uh, let's make it more interesting. I won't use Geo Traveler. We'll continue blazing this trail through Mondstadt with the power of Electro until it absolutely must be swapped. And yes, that includes Amber's story domain. You know, the one built entirely around using an archer. This is Musashi and Traveler San signing off. Till next time.